Hey guys, Crazy Dave here. Well, today I'm going to do a co-host show or episode between Crazy Dave's Kitchen and a little coffee bean. This little coffee bean is going to come up very shortly to walk us through on what we're going to do next. What are we doing? What is this strange thing in my hand? Uh, I know, it's not meat. It's actually a vegetable. Yeah, a vegetable. What are we doing? We're actually going to take this cabbage and we're going to take some Tecate beer and we're going to make a beer braised cabbage. Now you might have seen that on Facebook, you know, a little post here and there. But you know what? This is Crazy Dave here and we're going to make it better. Stay tuned and a little coffee bean and Crazy Dave will show you how. Hey guys, Little Coffee Bean here. So, what are the ingredients? We have some bacon, I mean bacon! We have some garlic, we have some onion, we have some cabbage, and we have some light beer. And also we have some crushed red chilies. I think that's how, yeah, that's chilies. And we have some dark pepper and some salt. So guys, what do we do with the onion? We're just gonna kind of cut it up and we're gonna peel it real quick and we're gonna kind of slice it up. But first, we need to peel it really good to get all this bad stuff off. Okay, so we're gonna cut these probably about a quarter inch thick or so, give or take, you know, about that thick. And we're just gonna slice the whole onion about that thick. After the onion's pretty much sliced, we're gonna lay it on the side, and we're just gonna do one cut right down the middle. Why is that? Well, essentially, what we're looking for is pieces to look kind of like this. Now, after that's all done, set it off to the side, and move on to the next step. Okay, so now the little coffee bean here is going to uh, Cut off the back and just lay the bacon out on this cutting board right here. So let's take the scissors. Watch my fingers. Okay, so now that the bacon is out of the bag, we're just going to take it and put it to the side. Okay, guys, remember that big, huge cabbage? Well, now we're going to actually cut it into a couple different sections. So I'm like to cut it down a little bit, a little about three quarters of the way down, okay? And we're going to try to make three cuts into the cabbage this way okay and don't go all the way down just you know about three quarters so you got one two and three now same thing we're going to turn it over or we'll turn it around actually and we're going to slice it down now if some of the leaves come up like this no big deal just you know put them off the side and again you want three good cuts most of the way down now, if you do a little bit more than three, no big deal. It's going to start looking kind of like a checkerboard. It looks kind of like that. Okay? Then we're going to move on to the next step. Now, one ingredient we forgot to mention, I just thought about it, is butter. You actually need a stick of butter. So about this time, that's when you go grab that stick of butter. Okay, guys. So now I got a stick of butter, uh, a stick of butter right here, and... Uh, I unwrapped it and now I'm going to cut it to like a quarter inch, about that. And make sure you do it tight, like, not tight, like, keep your knife straight. Not like that. And remember, little copy bean, watch those fingers. And kids, if you don't feel comfortable using a sharp knife, ask your parents for help. Well, a little coffee bean is going to continue slicing this butter up until it's nice and done. Okay, so next we're going to take one of these uh, butters and put them in the middle of the cabbage. And just stick it in there, but I'm not having a good time with it right now. Okay, so what we're supposed to be doing, guys, is taking the cabbage or the yeah. butter and wedge it in there and get it down in it as much as possible. 
and you want to do it through all the holes. So we're going to kind of go through this and we're going to continue to the next step after we're done stuffing this cabbage completely with the butter. Okay guys, so now this cabbage is completely been packed with the butter. We're going to move it over to the tray over here that's laid or lined with two sheets of aluminum foil. Because now the next step is where it gets to be messy and we want to try to keep as much of the ingredients. So next we are sprinkling crushed red chilies on it. But if you want to make it um, hotter, then you put more on it. Oops, I forgot that we need to put the onions in these little um, cuts in the cabbage. Now that the onions are on, we are going to put some black pepper on it. Okay, so next we're going to add some fresh sea salt and just keep cranking it to your liking. And now we are going to add one whole carve of crushed garlic. And now we are going to add some bacon. And remember, there is no such thing as too much bacon. And now that the bacon was going left to right, now we're going to put it from up to down. And the next step involves beer. But since I am not 21, my dad, Crazy Dave's Kitchen, will do it for me. Thanks, little coffee bean. Yes, kid, as a reminder, you gotta be 21 or older to drink beer. But if you wanna cook with it, you don't have to be 21 to cook with alcohol. Just make sure you have your parents' supervision. Now, today I'm using Tecate light beer. You can use any light beer that you like. I just happen to like Tecate. So we're gonna take the beer and we're gonna open up the can. Now this is a cold can of beer and we're just gonna start slowly drizzling it all over the cabbage. Now if you notice, I folded up the sides here and I made it look like a little boat. Why? Because I wanna keep as much of this liquid in this area. And we're just gonna keep slowly pouring the beer and we're going to use the entire can of the beer. Okay guys, so the beer has been completely emptied and look at all the liquid here. Now you see why we made it into a little boat. Because we want to keep that liquid in there because it's going to help to steam this cabbage. So we're going to slowly start bringing it together, or we'll try to, and we're going to try to preserve as much of that liquid as possible. And you start bringing it up. Now, if the liquid gets out, that's okay. But we want to try to keep as much of it, again, as possible. And we're just gonna kind of form it up and make it nice and tight. Now, you notice some of that liquid came out. That's fine. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this into a baking dish. Okay. So we took the cabbage, we wrapped it up, and we put it in the baking dish. But with all that liquid, we just put it in there. Okay, so now we are going to put the cabbage in the Traeger at 250 degrees for four hours. Okay, so my grill is clean, and now I'm gonna fire it up with the Genuine Jerry and the Smoke Daddy Pillow Pro PID controller. Okay, so now the Traeger is on and we are going to put it on high temporarily until the log starts to burn. Okay, so you only saw the cabbage video. So, there are a lot more things going on than just that.
as you can see, here is the cabbage. Here are some ribs that are also that are on, uh, that are online. Here are some chicken that is also online, and some armadillo eggs that are also online. Okay, so the cabbage has been in the Traeger for four hours, and as you can see here, it looks all done. So we're gonna take it off, and it is also night outside. And now we are going to open it up and see how it looks like. Wow. That looks good. To be honest, it does. Wow. That looks really good. And as you can see, I'm wearing safety gloves because it's really hot. And now we are slowly going to try to uh, take the foil off the the cabbage, but make sure the liquid does not fall on the floor. First, when you get the rest of the foil off, uh, just put it to the side, but when you're taking off the bottom part, do not let the cabbage roll over. Do not let it roll over. Okay, but as a kid, I thought it was actually pretty darn good. So, this cabbage is hot, and also, be creative. Make something for Memorial Day. And this is a little coffee bean, and I'm out.